This is Petty Harbor, a historic community about 15 minutes from St. John's. And like hundreds of other places, it should be getting ready for a busy tourism season. More people visit here annually than actually live here. And 2020 was supposed to be a record breaker, but instead COVID-19 is shattering the entire industry. Well, many Canadians and people around the world have seen the award-winning ads and they worked seducing visitors to make the effort to come to this remote province and grow tourism into a billion dollar industry. Even small villages started to get attention. Uh, as you know, I'm running for mayor of Dildo. But now efforts to cash in on free publicity courtesy of an American heavyweight celebrity seem pointless. A lost opportunity for people like Angie Reid. Well, it was our $11 million free advertising campaign that he ran for us. We put a lot of preparation, a lot of time, a lot of money into the coming season um, based on uh, the hype that we had last summer. And in the city of St. John's, George Street, two blocks of jam-packed mischief and sin, a popular magnet for party people looking for music, drink, food and whatever. Well, this is George Street now, vacant during the day and night. Unlike other Canadian cities that can rely on locals if and when they reopen, the bars and restaurants here rely on tourism to keep them afloat all year round. There's certain pride here in resilience and facing adversity, but there's just no way that the industry will get anywhere close to $1.6 billion that were expected. The COVID curtain has even fallen on Come From Away, the smash hit about how this province welcomed international flights during the darkness of 9-11, a story about Newfoundland openness and generosity. And because of the pandemic, instead of embracing people who come from away, we're saying stay away. And if you don't, police armed with new pandemic powers can search you without a warrant and escort you away from this province. Anthony Germain, CBC News, Petty Harbour.